Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to repair the buttons under the screen of this old oscilloscope. Obviously this applies to any kind of uh, equipment that uses the same system for the buttons. As you can see you can press them as hard as you want, they don't work. One completely to the left kind of does, kind of doesn't. But I don't want to be destroying the thing every time I want to push a button. So anyway, the, the fix is very simple, let's uh, just jump into it. Alright, uh, so first thing we're going to do is uh, open the thing up, obviously. Uh, there's only two screws here on the back and uh, they're pretty easy to remove. So after that all you have to do is uh, pull the front panel out and the whole thing just slides out. Next thing we have to do is detach the front panel from the main circuitry. First thing we detach the connector to the buttons and the lights on the front. And then there's two little levers. This is the first one here. We have to just push it down and it clips out. And then there's another one on the other side, still at the bottom, that you can just pull out like that. And after that, the whole thing just comes out. So I should probably mention that I've uh, fixed these things in the past. Uh, I was told at first that the problem is that there's dust and dirt that gets in front of the contacts. And so it doesn't make them work right. And the fix is just to use some rubbing alcohol and clean those little black pads. Um, apparently that's not the right solution because um, about one out of three or four would actually work. So my conclusion was that these pads lose their conductivity. I don't know if they have something on them or something in them. So anyway, putting something conductive on top of them works way better than just cleaning them. And this is what I'm going to do in this video. Basically the way this works is there's some exposed traces here and the little black tabs on the rubber buttons uh, contact and uh, basically short the exposed traces on the PCB. Now uh, the thing's all dirty because I've tried to fix it previously putting some graphite powder on it but it worked for like a week and then it just um, gave up. So this time I'm going to use a different approach and that's going to be to put some aluminum tape on there to be sure that it uh, stays conductive basically. To test my theory I'm going to connect the front panel to the oscilloscope and turn it on and with a little piece of aluminum tape on my finger I'll go and um, touch the connections here looking at the front screen to see if it actually works. So as you can see everything seems to work pretty well with this uh, system so that means that we can proceed with the fix. So I cut out some small little squares of uh, aluminum tape and I stick them on the little black tabs. I should mention that I cleaned them before so that the adhesive actually stays on. Um, after that we just have to push the buttons back into their place. These buttons are pretty rubbery so you can push them in however you want. I use some tweezers to help me out here. Just be careful not to have the tape fall off because it sticks sort of well but not too well. After that we just have to put the PCB back in place. You, we have to push it against the buttons and then slide it to the right so it uh, snaps in place. After that we mount the front panel back onto the main body. It's a little bit tricky getting all the buttons uh, through the holes here but uh, just have to work out a little bit and it works out fine. After the front panel is back in place we uh, hook up the connector to the panel PCB and we slide everything into the body and uh, screw on the two screws that we took off before and it should be ready to go. So now we can turn it on to see if it actually works as promised. As you can see here the buttons work without a problem and uh, so it seems to be fixed. So I hope this was useful to you. Um, naturally this principle applies to any type of button that uses the same system here. Anyway, if you like the video, uh, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I usually make some DIY tutorials and not fixes, but anything that concerns electronics is uh, something of interest to this channel. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.